Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to make some green spooky eyes to scare people. So possibly you can pop this into some bushes and as passers-by go they're going to see some spooky green eyes or even um, looking out of a window in an upper darkened windowsill. All you need is a kitchen tube. I've drawn with a pen some eyes. So I've drawn a kind of strange shaped eyes, maybe alien-esque or just zombie eyes. I've also drawn the pupils in and I've done the pupils very close to the edge because what I'm going to try to do when I cut using my knife and scissors is I'm going to try and leave the pupils intact so that you get a bit more of an effect when the uh, green glowing light stick is put inside the tube. Okay, so now let's get on with the cutting. Okay, I'm going to use a craft knife and I'm going to just make a, a small cut in each of the slits, keeping my fingers far away. I'm only going to do a small sl slice, so I'm finding a straight line that I've drawn here. So that's gone in probably a centimetre and a half. So I'm going to go into the corner of the eye there. And I'm going to do a lot more of this with the scissors. I'm going to find it a lot easier to cut this with scissors. So again, I'm going to just find a nice straight bit. Again, make sure you can't go too deep, so shorten the blade. And obviously you're not pressing hard at all. This is only cardboard after all. And again, I'm just going to do a little bit of cut. So I've just done a, a small, again, centimetre and a half. And I should now be able to get my scissors in. And certainly, I can now be able to cut my way around this. It doesn't have to be perfect, because the overall effect is the shape. And the shape at night, the last thing somebody's going to be looking at is how neat your uh, scissor lines are. I think the important thing is, how raggedy the shape is and how big the eyes are so get them to be slightly bigger than normal human eyes uh, in the roundness and then make the freaky shapes you might want to make you know, crazy V's sticking out etc now obviously the curved bit is going to be the hardest because we are cutting through card here and there's no way this is my best cutting don't worry too much if you go a little bit over your lines it is just a guide now this is the bit I'm not so sure whether I'm going to be successful or not hoping to try to keep some pupils. Now, cutting around, I think, is a little bit too, um, a little bit too much for me. So what I'm going to do is actually very much like a pumpkin. I'm going to make a little bit of a V here, and I'm going to do an up, and then a down slip. Just do one more. I'll try and do this so you can see it. So we've now cut that away. I'm going to, I can trim and tidy this up a little bit. And I might take the very point of this. I've got a little bit of tugging up to do around the top here, but that is my first eye. I'm going to do the other one and I'm going to show you what it looks like with the glow stick in. Okay, so I've cut out both eyes now. On the second eye, I actually used the knife uh, pretty much exclusively. And as you can see, I, I had a reasonably good attempt at getting uh, a circular pupil in the eye. But I also made a few slashing cuts and the pupil is almost being cut off entirely. However, again, as I said before, and a little bit of sellotape inside also would be possible if you did cut that off and you wanted to reattach it. You could also put a pin prick in the middle there. The, the principles are done and I think you've got here a reasonable shape set of eyes and certainly quite spooky. And now all involved is to insert one of my glow sticks. So let's just get that activated. Now, it's not dark at the moment, but um, if I just shade it a little bit, you can already see some quite good green eyes. Now, what I'm going to do later on when it's dark is I'm going to do this again. I'm going to show it to you from close and afar. And uh, so I'm actually going to shine it up now so you can't actually see the tube itself. But as you can see, you've got a quite, quite a good eerie green set of eyes going on there. Okay, as you can see, it's now dark and all you can see in front of you is the glowing green eyes from this kitchen roll green glowing alien or zombie or vampire eyes and with the sound of the rain overhead and the wind it's very atmospheric and come halloween this could be in your bushes or looking out of your windows for your guests i'm going to just roll it forward and backwards until you see the actual glow strip there we go you can actually see it inside there now I'm running it really quite forward now. Now, because it's a kitchen tube, you can either leave it completely around, or you can squash it and shape it, and so it's actually um, able to be pointing up or down how you like. I'm going to just tip out the green glow stick so you can see the difference. So it is a standard sort of six inch length glow stick, nothing fancy. I've got the cardboard tube, there it is, in front and behind. 
and as you can see literally it's just a regular easy to get hold of glow stick that will last you you know a good six eight ten twelve hours so i've used the same glow stick that i used when i started the video the sun's now set and the weather's completely changed for the worse but uh, the glow stick's still going strong i'm going to just slide it back in to end again you want to make it quite central so that the uh, the glow is quite even through both eyes now as you can see i've kept the pupils in so it's up to you whether you want to remove those pupils i've make a, made them a little bit different in this case just to demonstrate the kind of things you can do and uh, hopefully you'll have fun this halloween or any other kind of themed spooky horror party and uh, this is just a really simple cheap idea and a neat way to change uh, your glow sticks into something a little bit different and with cardboard tubes you can do all kinds of patterns so have fun with scissors and be very careful with that craft knife I recommend adult supervision.